Hello everybody, this is 44 Politics here today with another video. Before I get started, please feel free to like the video so more people can see my content. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe so it helps me uh, keep on going with this YouTube channel. Okay, on to the video. So today is, my, is going to be my first uh, analysis video of the um, U.S. Senate races. So I'm going to be starting out with the Georgia uh, Special Senate Election, which is this uh, little dot right there. Uh, you can ignore the rest of the, um, what's it called, the rest of the state. Um, I'm going to be analyzing it and seeing who I think will win. And you can probably know who I think will win if you watch my latest video, which I can link up above if you want. But yeah, so uh, if we look at probably the last state race, um, the last, yeah, the last race in the, what's it called, uh, state, which was a gubernatorial election, between Brian Kemp and Stacey Abrams, you can see that was really close, as a matter of fact, only 1.4%, so that would make it a uh, lean. It was the closest governor's race since 1966, as you can see. And yeah, uh... And this is probably the closest, um, what's, a, what's the word? It'd be the closest, uh, it's probably the, probably the best, um, best, uh, best race we have to, we can look at currently to see how that race will go. So we can look at the, um, currently RCP, Real Clear Politics, has Kelly Loeffler ahead by 2.5%. And, Ralph, um, even though the latest poll does have Ralph Warnock ahead by 8%, but that, it averages, you know. As you can see here, uh, the latest poll it is a B slash C poll, which is not very good. It does show um, a tie between Warnock and Loeffler, and the other the la another poll uh, does show him ahead by one. Another poll shows him Warnock ahead by five against his actually head to head matchup. The rest of the polls mostly show Warnock ahead, as a matter of fact, and with uh, Kelly Loeffler in second for most of them, I believe. Uh, except for this one, which Doug Collins is in second. So yeah, as you can see, uh, Ralph Warnock is the primary Democratic candidate. There is Joe Lieberman, who is facing a lot of calls from various people, including Stacey Abrams, to drop out. So um, Ralph Warnock can consolidate the Democratic uh, vote. And if he did, theoretically, you see that um, Matt Lieberman and Ed Tarver have a combined 11% of the vote, which would put him, uh, Ralph Warnock, at 39%. A pretty handy um, win, and he would be advanced to the runoff where he might even win against Doug Collins or Kelly Loeffler, who he's both winning against in the uh, head up matchups. So, yeah, so far I do think that it is Democratic. What I think will happen is that either Kelly Loeffler, it seems like Kelly Loeffler is going to take second, and Ralph Warren, I think eventually Matt Lieberman will drop out, and then the Democrats will consolidate behind Ralph Warnock and put him at a, and um, much like maybe Mississippi. He might get a, almost forty percent of the vote, and the and Kelly Loeffler will, will take second. Then she will uh, lose to him in a head -to -head, in a head to head matchup, and which will take place I think in December. Cause as you can see, the polls for the matchup show Warnock ahead by ten, so that would be a uh, actually lean, but I don't think it's be like that. I think it'll be likely uh, or likely, it'd be likely and that, but I didn't put it at lean or tilt. So is what the last election was. With this, um, with this race, it's pretty key it will, to give the Democrats more than a one-seat majority. So this would be, as you can see, the other two toss-ups are Montana and Georgia's um, regular Senate race. And it's pretty essential. Um, before, I thought it was Republican hold. But now I believe that it is key, and the Democrats are also doing well in the second Senate race, which would leave that put them at 53, and they won't even need Montana, which, which uh, Steve Daines has been losing in most of the polls there. So the, this could really very well decide the Senate makeup. So that is pretty much all I have on this current uh, race. I So my final prediction is Ralph Warnock winning uh, the runoff and facing off against Kelly Loeffler in the head-to-head um, -head matchup. And she will lose to him by a good margin, despite the fact that I believe that Joe Biden will lose this race narrowly, or this seat narrowly. Okay, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe so you can see my other videos. Like, I will be releasing more of these. My next one will prob probably be on the regular uh, Georgia Center race. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.